Good morning. Well, every year we do some type of self-portrait project, and this year we're going to do it a little bit different. This year we are just focusing on drawing your eye, and it is going to be a very detailed eye, um, and the eye is going to have a reflection in it, but it's not a typical reflection, like just a little glare of light. It's going to be a reflection of a memory that you have. So inside your eye, you are actually going to draw a picture. The reflection will be a picture and that picture will be a memory of yours. Um, you will have time to think about what that memory might be. Um, today, we're just going to focus on drawing the eye, the shape of the eye, all of the parts of the eye. And then next time we will begin adding in the, um, the memory into the center portion of your eye. I will do that demonstration in just a second. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to draw the eye. Um, and then I may just talk a little bit about drawing the inside of the eye, so the reflection or the memory that you're going to put inside your eye. I want you to make sure for this project that you are drawing big, like huge, like most of this piece of paper should be filled up with the eye. Otherwise, um, the, the picture that you put in the middle is not going to show up very well, okay? So what I am going to do is start out by drawing a circle. Now, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably trace a circle. But for the sake of the demonstration, I'm just going to draw it. So you're gonna want something about this big as circular as you can. Um, and you want it right in the middle of the paper, okay? So this is going to be like the iris and the pupil of your eye. In the center would be where the pupil is, like that. And then you need to draw the outline of your eye. So this would be like the, um, shape of a football. And it touches the top of the circle as well as the bottom of the circle. Now I go down a little bit extra here because you usually have a little bit of a crease there. So there I have my football shape. Now, since I didn't have a circle to trace, mine's kind of sketchy. Yours won't look like that quite so much. So there's the shape of my eye. Now, I'm not done yet. There are a lot of details that I still have to add to my eye. For example, like inside your eye, there's a little bit of like red showing. And then there's kind of a U shape right here, okay? So this would be the inside, like your nose would be over here. This is your tear duct. So this is where if you're crying or if you have watery eyes, that's where the tears would come out. So you want that in your picture as well. And then you wanna add your eyelashes. Now, eyelashes are going to look pretty big since this is a very big eye. Um, what I usually do is start by going just about straight up right in the middle and straight down at the bottom like that. And then to the left, my eyelashes are going to just slightly be curved, kind of like the letter C and they tend to get smaller the closer to your nose they get. Now on the opposite side of that line, they're going to be more like a backwards letter C. But again, it's a very subtle curve. It's not like a C like that or like that. Okay, and then the same thing at the bottom.
All right, now, the color of your eye goes right in this area. However, you are not putting the color of your eye in there, you're putting your memory in there. Now your memory could be a good memory, it could be a sad memory, it could be something very, very important to you, it could be something that just was something fun, um, it could be like if you have a pet that you lost or something like that and you want to just draw a picture of your pet in a certain scene, you can do that. It's completely up to you. Um, but you want to fill just this circle with your memory. So maybe my memory is, um, my memory is this summer. Um, we spent a whole lot of time on the river with friends and fishing. Not a lot of friends. We kind of have a whole group of, not a whole group, we have a two families in our neighborhood that we've spent a lot of time with for the past nine months. And they would go out with us too. So we'd have boats that were, and eh, that looks funny. We had boats that were pulled up to the sandbars. Like that. And there's motor up here. Kind of like this. Okay. And if I wanted, I could draw more boats because we usually had two or three boats pulled up. And maybe some lawn chairs over here. Kind of like that. And maybe kids are running around playing in the water. Or maybe there's a tube hanging off the back of a boat because we go tubing some. Looks kind of like a roll of toilet paper, but you get the idea. So you really want this to be a fairly detailed picture, okay? So I don't want to see 15 different people drawing a picture of themselves on a sandbar like I did. I want this to be your memory, okay? Um, really focus on drawing the eye and the shape of the eye for today. And if we need next time to work on drawing the memory within the eye, that is not a problem, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know.